I'm Hannah Cockcroft, MBE. I am a wheelchair racer on the Great Britain Paralympic team and I've won five gold medals in the Paralympics, two from London 2012 and three from Rio 2016. I got into wheelchair racing when I was 15 years old. I actually started sport by doing seated discus at school and then off the back of that got invited to a talent ID session at Loughborough University and I saw wheelchair racing there. I uh, didn't really want to try it, the chairs didn't look comfortable, it didn't look like a bit of me. But my dad, being a typical Yorkshire man, said, you know, we've driven 100 miles for this, so you're going to get in that race chair and you're going to push it. And um, it's the best thing he ever did. I got in the race chair and just immediately fell in love. It was a feeling of just freedom that I'd never had before. You know, I was 15 and I hated wheelchairs. I saw them as a sign of just disability. That was all it was to me and I, I wasn't disabled in my head. Um, but the racing chair showed me that actually they're a, they're a sign of independence. Um, they were a sign of freedom because for the first time ever I didn't have to hold on to an adult's hand. I didn't have to worry about tripping over my own feet and I could get places quickly which was something I'd never done before. And, and those feelings just, just stuck with me and, and I wanted to do it every day so that was it. I was hooked. Three words to describe myself. I think they would be independent, quite lazy <laughs> and um, bubbly I think, yeah probably those three. I think my proudest moment in my life um, is actually nothing to do with sport and my sporting achievements, um, it's actually just my independence and, and what I've made of, of my life. I'm 26 now, I'm still on my feet, um, still alive which is a miracle and you know I travel around the world and drive my own car and own my own house so that's, that's what I'm proud of really because it was something that no one ever expected from me. I think there's been a few times when I've felt broken. Um, I think growing up, a memory that sticks with me the most is when my best friend got her first pair of high heels. And you know, I was, I was like, oh, mom, let's go shopping, let's go get some. And, and she literally had to just sit down with me and say, look, your splints are not gonna fit in a pair of high heels. You are never gonna be able to wear them. And I think for a long time, femininity was kind of shown through a heel. You know, it was, it was, it was beautiful to wear a high heel. The big thing is my friends all pulled around me so you know just be honest that you're upset about it just accept that that's a feeling and then accept that that's a part of you and everyone loves you so just keep being what you want to be and actually you're going to make your own style and, and love it as you grow up. Perfection to me as a word um, it doesn't describe anything because it's not a thing. No one is perfect, nothing is perfect and I think you know, when you discuss it in terms of the way you look, actually perfect is what you want to be. Perfect is just being happy within yourself. It's not looking like somebody else. It's not being somebody else. It's just being you. I have obviously a lot of flaws and, and strange parts of my body. Um, and growing up, I used to really, really hurt my back. So when I stand up, my back has a massive lordosis so it bends in loads you know it, it causes me a lot of discomfort and I thought you know it makes me look fat it makes me look really disabled and actually as I've grown up I've kind of just learned to enjoy that part of me it's, it's very unique um, it's it's a part of me that will never change it's a part of me that's been with me since birth and actually it's kind of cool growing up I used to really hit my nose but I feel like I've grown into it a little bit so I'm okay with that right now, but we're, apparently our nose never stops growing, so I might get to a stage where I hit it again, I don't know. <laughs>